Ray Biotech is the world leader in the production of antibody arrays for scientific research. Our arrays were developed for focused areas of research, including inflammation, apoptosis, cancer, and obesity. In this presentation, we will explain how antibody array technology works and give an overview of our various array types. Antibody arrays are small nitrocellulose membranes printed with multiple different antibodies in a grid layout. Each antibody spot is specific for a different protein, and there may be up to 100 different antibodies spotted on one membrane. This technology enables the researcher to detect multiple proteins in one small sample aliquot. This shows how our antibodies are used to detect protein. In panel one, an antibody is immobilized on a solid support, such as a nitrocellulose membrane. And then when a biological sample is added, for instance, a human serum sample, the antibody will capture the protein it is specific against, as depicted in panel two. Then a second antibody is added, which binds to a non-overlapping epitope on the same protein. This antibody is conjugated to biotin, which allows for the binding of streptavidin HRP, or streptavidin fluor, as shown in the last panel. From here, the signal can be easily detected using routine laboratory procedures. This procedure requires minimal hands-on time and results are obtainable usually within one day. Each array contains scores of antibody spots, each of which is specific to a different protein, thus allowing the simultaneous capture of many target proteins. Detecting multiple related proteins allows scientists to have a global perspective of signaling events occurring in a disease state or perhaps in response to a therapeutic treatment. This is an example of the output of a membrane-based antibody array. Each spot on the membrane indicates the presence of a different cytokine. Notice that each antibody is spotted in duplicate. Furthermore, the darkness of each spot is directly proportional to the abundance of that cytokine. To identify which cytokines are represented by the visible spots, the array result must be compared to an array map. This table is an example of an antibody array map. Each spot cross-references a particular map location, and thus identifying the protein detected. The number of cytokines detected by an antibody array is typically between 10 and 100. Ray Biotech has developed several themed antibody arrays focused on important research topics, including inflammation, apoptosis, angiogenesis, obesity, and cancer, just to name a few. For more information about arrays designed for specific research fields, please visit our website. Ray Biotech has developed several types of arrays to meet the needs of scientists. We will now present a brief overview of our antibody array product range. The cytokine arrays are available printed on either nitrocellulose membrane, which are known as the C-series arrays, or a glass chip, which are known as the G-series arrays. Both the C-series and the G-series detect relative changes in protein levels. The label-based arrays, which are known as L-series, are a very high-density array platform capable of simultaneously detecting over 500 protein targets per array. Results from these arrays are also presented as relative fold changes in cytokine levels. Label-based technology will be described later in this presentation. For researchers who need quantitative analysis, Ray Biotech's answer is Quantibody. This array accurately measures the concentrations of multiple cytokines from one sample. We have also developed phosphorylation arrays, which enable you to detect multiple phosphorylated proteins from a single sample and Ray Biotech's protein array detects protein-protein interactions or protein-small molecule interactions. Both the phosphorylation array and the protein array are discussed in detail in a separate video. We will now present examples of common uses of Ray Biotech's arrays. Here we have an example using human cytokine antibody array 6. In this experiment, serum samples from two different patients were tested with the array. The presence of various cytokines were then detected, yielding an inflammatory signature for each patient. Levels of inflammatory molecules were considerably higher in patient two. Here, we show a typical result using the mouse cytokine antibody array three. 
Serum samples were taken from a wild-type mouse and an IL-6 knockout mouse. IL-6 was readily detectable in the wild-type sample, whereas no IL-6 was detected in the knockout. Interestingly, levels of other cytokines were also altered in the IL-6 knockout mouse. The glass slide arrays, or the G-series, contain the same antibodies as the C-series, or membrane-based arrays. The difference is the antibodies are printed on a glass slide fitted with a chamber assembly. Each well in the chamber assembly contains an array, and a typical slide will have either four or eight arrays printed. The glass slide arrays also feature a fluorescent detection, which requires the use of a gene microarray scanner. The G-series has several advantages over the C-series. For one, it's less expensive than the membrane-based arrays. It also has a wider signal range, and it's more economic in terms of sample. Only 100 microliters is required per array, while the membrane-based arrays require up to one mil. The G-series is also amenable to high throughput. The slides are very easy to handle, and one can easily process several hundred samples per day. Examples of the outputs from the glass slide arrays are presented here. 10 microliters of serum from three different patients were simultaneously analyzed for inflammatory markers. The label-based array, or L-series, is our largest series of arrays with up to 507 proteins detected. In this array, the target proteins within the sample are directly labeled with biotin which eliminates the need for a biotin-elated detection antibody. The L-series is available in either membrane or glass slide format and has a very high detection sensitivity of usually 1 to 100 picograms per mil. Shown below are the output data from the L-series arrays. Computer software is available to facilitate array to map cross-referencing. Ray Biotech's QuantiBody array is a multiplex ELISA on a glass chip. It can quantitatively measure the concentrations of up to 240 different proteins per sample. The data is highly accurate and reproducible with sensitivities in the low picogram range. The quantibody array offers the advantage of high throughput analysis and generates up to 3,000 data points per slide. Other products available at Ray Biotech include ELISA kits for nearly all the proteins included within the arrays. We also sell a variety of individual antibodies, proteins, and peptides, as well as software for the analysis of antibody array data. Ray Biotech also offers testing services. Researchers can ship their biological samples to us, and our experienced scientists will perform the antibody array experiment. We also offer ELISA service, as well as custom immunoassay development. For more information about Ray Biotech's antibody arrays or services, please visit our website at www.raybiotech.com or contact us by email at info at raybiotech.com.